Good afternoon from Go Camping and Overlanding headquarters here in Balcatta. We're just about to shut the shop up for the day. It's Saturday afternoon, 1st of July, and we are heading north. This time, we're gonna do some filming up on the Canning Stock Route, which is one of the great overlanding trips in Western Australia, if not Australia, if not the world. And we're pretty excited. Slayer is all packed and ready to go. Curls shutting the doors now. It's time to hit the road. Second day, we're not far north of Perth, we're about 300 k's from Perth. But uh, awesome night's sleep in the in the car. Um, sun's just coming up. I'm just making morning brews. Curl's just finishing up in the roof tent and we'll be on our way. Today's pretty much just driving about mm, 800, 900 kilometers. Today's uh, driving, we left at about 8 o'clock this morning. Yes, we finally, early. finally hit Newman. And uh, so we're going to pull in here and chock a block full of fuel, grab a couple of things from the IGA, and then how to head out of town and find a little camp. And we're meeting up with some friends tomorrow before we start the Canning Stock Route. So, uh, signing off for the day. Nighty night. Another nice sleep, cold morning again. I don't know if you can. See the uh, see my breath, but anyway, it's a um, it's a chilly morning. We've had a great sleep off in the in the roof tent. We've got quite a nice little setup there this time, where we have um, uh, a down sleeping bag uh, and our doona. We've also put in a cheeky little electric blanket because we are looking at zero degrees out here most of the morning. So um, yeah, a nice little campsite last night. We just used the the riser for a little fire, so very leave no trace this morning. So today we're off to catch up with our friends Lee and Heather and their crew. So uh, driving about 600 k's I think, or six hours, 300 k's, whatever it is, it's, uh, it's a fair old day again. So uh, a bit of rough track along the way, we'll have to do some tyre pressure management. But apart from that, looking forward to it. This is a bit of a morning ritual with uh, the coffee. So we've got uh, the jet boil flash, our Wakako Nanopresso, a couple of thermal cups, a thermometer, a Aero Latte, and this thing here, which is for the milk. So we're gonna do a video one day fairly soon on exactly how we get that one going. Day number three, and in the car, it's a bit chilly still, hence the beanies and being Three degrees, up. I think, is the, the temp, yeah. which is actually uh, not too bad. That's at eight o'clock in the morning, so yeah, I reckon we got down to probably just on one degree overnight. So uh, I think the uh, electric blanket is definitely worthwhile. Oh wow, what a treat. <laughs> We've been driving just out of Newman, maybe 50 kilometers and now we've got ahead of us off-road. And these are what we've got to face, uh, corrugations. I'm not sure how they'll look in the in the camera, but that's um, 
going to go and just let our tire pressure down in the car now just to absorb the bumps a little bit more and we do this for another oh, few hundred kilometers so we're going to deflate the tires and i'm using this new little product which i've got in the other day into the shop so i thought we'd give it a go which is called the in deflate it's actually been around for quite a while from south africa and now max tracks do it and so what we do is we put one tube one side because this is a dual there's also a four version but i just wanted to try the dual version another cord to the other side and then with this a bit hard one-handed we let the air out of here so both ears are coming out and it's going to deflate it and it's going to deflate it to a uh, the same amount on each side at once it's pretty handy saves your knees i can tell you that much Okay, so that rear tire is down now at around 34 psi, a bit of a sidewall there. We're going to see how we go with it, might have to put some air back into it. The road's not horrible at the moment, but it will get pretty rough. Um, and you see the size of the road for our friends who have never been up here before. Uh, it's pretty wide. There's a truck or something coming along in a second and you'll see why it needs to be so wide. Because we want to get all the way this side while it's all the way that side so that we don't get sprayed with all of this rock. It wasn't much of a truck, but nonetheless, good to be safe. Quick stretch of the legs, and uh, we've just stopped near this um, near this uh, well bore type of thing. It's uh, pumping, got a bit of water going on, and that's uh, because there's a whole heap of cattle over here. So these things have really um, got used to living out here in this desolate land. But that's because there's a bit of water there for them as well, which doesn't hurt. And somewhere around here as well, there's a Len Bedell marker, which we're just going to try and find. Um, Len Bedell being a very famous surveyor who um, surveyed a lot of this land in the uh, 50s, 60s, I think it was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and find that. There's an old broken windmill here. The car's going well at the moment. The tire pressure's good. All happy. This track, it's called the Talawana track, and we've done it once before, and it's equally as bad as I remember it then. So, for those friends who haven't been up this way before, this is a corrugation, and the height of each one of these things, it doesn't look it, but it's about that much. So it's like going over a speed hump every time that you you hit one of them. So we've got millions of speed humps that we've got to go over. So there's two ways of attacking it. One is walking uh, distance or walking pace uh, the other one is going is so like over the 60 70 kilometers an hour and you seem to float over them the wheels hit the top of it that um it's really 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 rough and we've just uh, had a little something fall off our friend's car it's back on now it's no problem but um 
yeah, these things are, are indeed beasts. So, um, yeah, there you go. That's what a corrugation is. With these corrugations, we're making sure we stop regularly checking the uh, checking the uh, the bolts and everything. It's just making sure that everything's staying uh, staying stable. There were some very wicked um, corrugations just a few minutes ago on the Talawana track, but we've just got to this place called Georgia Bore. That's basically what we're uh, we're going to be following now for the next few uh, days, and that is. Now approaching uh, well 22. 